did not let up. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here in beautiful Coos Bay, Oregon at my favorite place in the world, the sand dunes. I'm here with my buddy Josh. Uh, there are bikes all around, so if there's some noise like this guy. We are here in the daytime and it's a nice beautiful day, so there's lots of bikes around. So if there's any background noise, I apologize. Uh, hopefully you can hear us okay. Uh, well, to start, uh, Josh, why don't you just tell me what year it is and uh, what kind of stuff you've done to it, how you bought it, was it stock? Uh, it was just about stock, it's a 98 Grand Cherokee. Uh, it was had a small ghetto, small arm lift on it with uh, all the S35s. <laughs> I, actually, I actually remember it had some super ghetto like extensions on the control arm mounts. They were, they were pretty haggard and scary and you've done, I mean, just about everything you can do to make these things reliable and just badass uh this has the 5.2 v8 right yep um still has the auto training but that's to change, change soon here real soon <laughs> i might know a, a pretty sweet youtube channel that has a tutorial on how to do that <laughs> uh well uh let's just start um from the axles so in the rear what do you got down here we got a ford nine inch with the backbone truss and a top truss uh, and it just looks so sweet man I love this axle got 513 gears and a spool and triangulated four link and the backbone truss is sweet because when you're out here mashing whoops you know the axles want to bend this way too as well as this way so it really helps save all that and nine inches are just awesome they got that pinion support so they're super strong disc brake conversion got what size coilovers are these two five fourteens internal bypass boxes super nice all limit strapped and bumped set up properly let's go to the front what do you have in the front we got the waggy 44 for right now uh, she's been giving me problems but we got her all trussed up and gusseted it She's holding up well right now. Yeah, yeah. So this is the same axle that I had in the front of mine before I did the one tons. Same truss and everything. And uh, we've had three of them now break down here at the axle tube. And so you can see how much, I mean, gusseting all over. He has just beefed the, the hell out of this axle um, to survive it beating. Maybe I'll throw up a picture of what it looked like earlier this week because it was in rough shape and uh yeah i got the got the welder out and got her looking good here at camp you know that's why it's unpainted and stuff but it's a pretty beefy setup right now well uh, what lockers in this we got the grizzly locker 513s to match we got chromoly shafts really nice barnes four-wheel drive truss converted to coilovers and air bumps what shocks are these these are the 2-0, 12-inch rad flows with the carbon shock technology bump stops. Yeah, and you just got those, right? Yep. You like them? Love them so far. Yeah. Going to get a set for the rear, you think? Yep. As soon as we get home. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And this is a three-link up front. All nice uh, two-inch quarter wall. Yeah. Some sort of hydro assist coming real soon. Yeah. <laughs> I'll crawl under here. Uh, this is the uh, Iron Rock link mount cross members, same that I had, right? Front. Actually, no, your front's different. Yeah, that's the actual Rock Link cross member. Yeah, so this is not. I had the uh, the critical path one that was meant for radius arms, and this is the actual three link cross member. So if I wiggle underneath here, you can see it's actually set up for a three link. So. If anyone out there is building the ZJ, I highly recommend this cross member. It's a way better cross member. Super beefy. Yeah. And beefy two inch quarter wall. Who did your drive line? Did you make these yourself? Yes, I took stock fronts and stretched them. Yeah, you can see that right there. So they're sleeved. So these are probably quarter wall two now. Yeah. Nice. You got the 1330 yoke. Oh, oh. Well. Need to do the 1330 swap for sure. Nice. 
What T case is this? It's a 231 with the SYE. What SYE kit is that? Do you know? Advanced adapter. Oh, the nice one. Fancy boy. Another custom drive line. Pinion support. Nice. Really nice stuff, guys. And I'm telling you, you don't realize how hard <laughs> he is sending this thing. I mean, it, we'll throw up a montage right here of him just out here destroying this thing, really putting it through its paces. Let's talk about these nice, pretty tires. You just got these, right? Yes, they're amazing so far. Ran them in the snow. Haven't touched rocks quite yet, but sand, they grip like no other. Yeah, what uh, what size and kind are they? They're 40, 13, 5, 17s with the fundamental innovation, weld on beadlocks. G2 hubs. Excesses. These are the tires everybody and their mom's raving about these days. <sighs> Quick plug, if you're looking for a set of these, you can hit up XCC Truck and Toy in Hood River. They can get them. I know a lot of shops are having a hard time finding them, but... Um, Alright, well let's move to uh, your tube work. So you got a pretty sweet bumper here. Let's uh, pop the hood and maybe take a gander at all that. guys so did you do all this yourself yep i bought myself a tube bender and a tube notcher went to town now for the people at home who think you need to have a two thousand dollar tube bender to do this what tube bender do you have um, the affordable the affordable yeah shit's like two hundred dollars guys and look at this beautiful beautiful bends really professional looking great looking bumper and these tubes run down to the rock slider. Shock towers are all tied in to a cross member. Any plans to do more of an engine cage at all? Yes, uh, I want to cut all the sheet metal out and get a little more tube in there. Beef her up a little bit more. Yeah. You got the Harbor Freight winch. What kind of lights are these? Uh, they're just 
some cheapos off uh, Amazon. They do pretty good. Yeah, they're close. They're pretty but dang bright, honestly. I was riding this thing last night. The speed we run out here outruns them. Pretty, yeah. Pretty <laughs> I cannot seem to get some lights that can keep up. It's ridiculous. These are pretty cool. You got some some tube clevis mounts. Really stout bumper. I like it. It looks good. Um, all right, let's move to the interior because there's some goodies in there. So, me guys, it's some solid cage work. Oh, everything's all nice and bent like it's supposed to be, unlike mine. The windshield support. So, uh, is this the same kit as mine? Yeah, it's the DNC Extreme kit, and then I added a bunch of supports off of it just to beef up a little bit. Safety first. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Got gusted it to the pillars. The yeah. Back and right next to your head. Yeah, and those are important because if you take a hit here, you know, while the passengers might be safe, you might crush your pillar here and have to throw the rig away. Really nice stuff. Got a nice razor mirror in here, clamped. Uh, all right, so what seats are these? Some Corbos. Corbos, yeah, with the PRP harnesses. And you actually have the five points hooked up, yep. unlike me. Um, and you don't have any carpet in here, which is which is a different look. I, I initially, when you told me you were doing that, I wasn't totally on board, but what did you paint all this with? I used a spray-on bed liner. It looks awesome, and it's so clean. You can actually, like, you know, it's full of sand right now because we've been playing for a week, but, you know, you can get home and shop back this out, and it's going to look brand new again. Yep. Whereas my carpet looks nasty after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> the water doesn't soak into the carpet like it did before. Yeah, yeah, no more mold and mildew smell. Pretty good. Check out the back. Got the fire extinguisher, quick release. No back seat. Uh, do you plan to put a seat in here? Or? I'm putting the matching bucket. Uh, it's like a bench seat that matches the front seats. Um, Corbo? Corbo, yes. Yeah, that'll be cool. It's got the cloth where you're sitting and then the vinyl around the edges. Right. Uh, just haven't got to it yet. Everyone's always building. You got your high lift mount, spare drive line mount, nice fuel cell, actual fuel cell, not just yeah. a haggard one like mine. It's all strapped down and solid. Tubs, all cut out, tube work going through it. Let's open the hatch, take a look at that actually. Got your battery mount. Is this homemade? Yep. Hell yeah. Backyard beater style. I like it. Nice. What's this for? It's for a uh, five gallon. Oh, that's so uh, clever. Yeah, just kind of fab it up just to hold it in place when we're going through these woods. Yeah, that's a great idea. You yeah. actually use the. Got, got little tabs so uh, you can throw a budget through the handle so it doesn't come pop up through it are these the tabs that come with the harnesses yes I ah. because I, uh, yeah they, they, they go to the bar. tube so they give you these as an option to, to put them to the ground <laughs> that's so I, that's cool i need to do something with that i don't have any kind of spare gas the tubs look really good too they're all nice one piece you know i like it i really like the color of your cage too this matte I used a uh, flat black. What is it? Just like Rustoleum? Uh, some some O'Reilly's brand? Yeah, it's just cheap. I think it's like two, three dollars a can. Yeah, it looks awesome too. Who needs steal it? You know, looks great. So, uh, future plans for this build? What are you thinking? We are going to start building a new front axle. I decided I'm going to go with the Fab Nine housing and put some Dana sixty knuckles. And Everything. Oh man, Everything. that's gonna be so cool. He's just trying to outdo me, guys. That's the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> to up the front. I've had a lot of problems with front axles last dune trip. Yeah. So my, snap my 30 in half. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe we'll throw up a picture of that too, because that one was awesome. He jumped it, broke the day to 30, and we were miles from camp and had to drive it all the way back. It was great. Oh, <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, so a Fab 60, uh, or Fab 9 inch you said. 9 inch, yes. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do full hydro, uh, plan on doing a 5 speed here real soon actually, uh, probably as soon as we get back I'm going to start on that, just get a little more power out of her. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do uh, two five internal bypass for the front, just to match the rear, get her all tuned and ready. That'll be a mean machine after that thing is great. All right, so I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you like what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to check out Josh's page. Uh, I'll throw his Instagram handle right here. You can check it out. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Quick little shameless merch plug. Check out our freaking sick new hats, dude. You can find them on my website, shopbackyardbeaters.com. Get yourself a nice hat. I don't have a whole lot left, so if you want one, hop on it. Uh, we got stickers and sweatshirts and t-shirts and stuff on there too, so check it out.